Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to make a short little video on my Toro Time Master 30. Uh, as you can see here, you know the paint's starting to come off. I don't use like a high pressure washer or anything, but I do rinse it every time um, with like a fire nozzle attachment that I have bought. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint it here. So. What I did is I quickly ran through it with uh, this. You can get this at Sears for about five, six bucks. And I just kind of went over it a little bit. Uh, there's absolutely minimal grass still left on there. and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and repaint it. Um, I'm sure a lot of people generally would think to use like uh, <clears throat> spray paint. But I'm actually, um, when I asked the guy at uh, Ace Hardware, he recommended the uh, Rust-Oleum paint-on. And this was about 10 bucks. And then I think I got maybe five bucks wrapped up in this paintbrush. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right. All right guys, uh, I got the first coat on. Not too worried about getting it on the plastic and stuff. Just uh, just repainting it so that I mean it lasts longer and uh, you know it's durable and uh, the the paint's gonna be a lot stronger when you paint it on by hand. So this is the first coat and um, it looks much better. I'm sure it'll look pretty good when it's dry. Uh, it's still wet, obviously, but. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like after the second coat and it's dry. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. Uh, just wanted to show you. Uh, I got two of these, so uh, just wanted to show you the amount of stuff that I get after I kind of sand. Uh, you can see it floating around in the air and stuff. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this up, and then I'm gonna paint this one. So this time I I hit the the brush a little bit on the those spindle things and clean them up a little bit so especially the fronts the fronts get pretty rusty so I think it'd be okay to go ahead and do that occasionally so I'm gonna finish up here and then uh, show you some more alright guys I just applied the uh, second coat here um, you can see it's pretty, pretty nice looking. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna have time to show you what it looks like when it dries, but uh, you know, <clears throat> um, from my experience, just uh, anything I always add, would add is make sure you wear like a mask when you're sanding, because uh, I breathe in a whole bunch of uh, grass dust and stuff, so. I had to rinse my nose out with a Neil Med bottle, so just make sure you do that. And uh, guys, if you got you keep up on the mower, so I rinse them every time. And uh, I mean, eventually the paint chips just started coming off. But I believe with this paint, I uh, shouldn't have too much of a problem. So give it a shot for yourself. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, have a have a good day. Thanks.